leading us off is that very busy election day that rapper Little John had yesterday. Yeah, if you don't know who this is, Little John, uh, he had one of the biggest hits of the year. Sure uh, one of your favorites, something we use around here. Even the first lady got involved. In Absolutely, it. I just got to do it. Thank you so much. I'm going to do it, okay? Thank you so much. Turn down for what? You get it now? You remember? Turn down for what? And that's exactly how the song goes. Little John had actually parlayed yeah. the success of that song into a rock the vote message. Turn down for turn what? Out for what? Sorry, turn out for what? There it is. is that, that's, that's his new <laughs> version. Now, Lil John is from uh, Atlanta, but he says the state, state of Georgia, never sent him an absentee I'm ballot. So, the king of crunk, as he's known, EJ, he posted a shot of himself there, early yesterday well. waiting for his 6 a.m. flight from L.A. to ATL just so he could take part in the democratic process. So, congrats to him for making that effort. Now, also apparently taking part in the democratic process, Kim Kardashian. She posted a picture on Instagram that shows, look at it, that's her, a cartoon version at least, of her and uh, President Obama. The caption reading, I'm standing with President Obama in the midterm election. Many have joked perhaps she didn't realize President Obama was not on the ballot yesterday. But in Kim's defense, she doesn't say that she was voting for him. Hopefully, she did realize that. She though. knows. Come on, she's a smart girl. In other uh, Kim Kardashian news, there's more. Uh, she's raising some eyebrows <laughs> by erasing her own. Um, that's her on the left. She posted a new look on Instagram, but warned her fans don't be alarmed. Yeah, if you can't notice them, she apparently bleached her eyebrows it's for a photo shoot. I wonder what Kanye thinks of it. He was saying, that's my bride, that's my baby. <laughs> well, Tom Cruise has been making headlines for some of his uh, movie stunts he's been doing here lately. Now he's got everyone else flipping out. His uh, Colorado ranch is now for sale with the price tag of $59 million. Cruise spent years designing this Rocky Mountain Escape located outside the resort town of Telluride. The four bedroom, six bath main resident boasts of 10,000 square feet as well as a gym, library, and rec room. But actually, because of the views and the surroundings, as great as it is on the inside, you probably want to be outside. We don't have word if anybody is taking him up on that $59 million offer. And another big night tonight for country music this time. The CMA Awards will be live from Nashville and this year's line up well, it's shaping up to be not only bigger and better, but more diverse. Yeah, mashups can be anticipated uh, as the biggest country act takes the stage. Miranda Lambert, uh, who's up for nine awards, will be joined by all about that bass singer, Megan Trainer, And what? Ariana Grande, my new favorite here <laughs> as of late, will be performing with Little Big Town. Got some classic rockers who will also be performing as well. You'll see the usual, the Blake Sheltons, Hunter Haynes, Jennifer Nettles of Sugarland, and all, you know, some of those names you're used to hear. Brad Paisley, Carrie Underwood are once again co-hosting. And be sure to tune in tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, right here on ABC. In America this morning, I can't wait to sing my country music rendition. For you. Oh, yeah, Lil John and some country this morning for <laughs> Rena. She's got a little bit of everything. So by all means, stay tuned. Maybe we can get a little, what else can we get in there for you this Never morning? Never know around here. Sure it's election know. morning, day after election.